Wow. Look at her go, though. <laughs> Let's have a sip. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to the channel. Tie-dye flower here. Um, today, we're just doing a little, a little low-key sesh. We are diving back into the APX e-rig from Pulse R. Um, I'm honestly saying this is one of my current obsessions. This is my daily driver. I'm using it every single day. I've had this now for at least a month now. I just got my first pack of replacement coils for the atomizer. Um, because yeah, I, I did some experimentations with this. I pushed it to its limits. I tested this out so I could tell you about this. Stick around. Let me just, let me give you an update. I'm literally just gonna dive right in. And when I say dive right in, I mean, I am just, as soon as I get on this knife, here we go. I am just filling this thing right up. Um, yeah, this, this has been one of my, my current obsessions. If you ever hop onto my lives, you might have seen me use this the past couple times because I'm using this every single day. This is, this is just a great tabletop device. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna, you know, put this in my backpack purse and take it on the go with me, but wow, is it a conversational piece, a great piece, and it's just, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. So I recently, um, I literally this weekend just got my first replacement atomizers for this device. I have been pushing it to its limits and I probably, if I didn't push it as hard as I did, I wouldn't have even had to change it out this fast, but I pushed it hard. And by hard, I mean, I have notes. So I did an experiment. I charged this device and I was also posting most of this to my Instagram stories um, when I first got it. I wanted to see how many sessions I was gonna get out of the full charge. So as soon as I got the device, I did my unboxing video with you guys. I plugged it in before that and it went from there. After that video, I plugged this device back in, gave it a full boost on that battery back up to 100%. And I took notes and kept track of exactly how many sessions I did, what modes I was on, um, just so we can kind of see. I did not stick to the same mode. Uh, you know, there is multiple modes on this device that I went over. We will go back over those here right now, actually. <laughs> Let me just turn it back on here. I have this really cute charm. Um, this is from Stoned Essentials. Love that page. So green is middle. Purple is bomb diggity, but it is hot, but I love her. And then red is knock you on your feet. That is uh no, that's, that's a nose goes for me. That is so, so fire, but it will, it'll knock you off your feet. I mean, <laughs> Back down, we have blue. That is the lowest temperature on this device. Temps are going to be right here, by the way, on the side, because I, I can't remember these, um, but I'm going to put the temps as I'm rolling through these. Next, we have cyan. This is actually my favorite temp mode. I love the cyan mode. And back to green, and this is my second favorite. All right, so here is what I did. I want you to take a guess. How many sessions do you think I got out of a full charge on this? And I'm not talking about sticking to the minimum lowest temp mode and just doing that all the way through and getting, you know, a hundred sessions on, you know, 400 degrees. I went all over the map, up and down, back and forth. I got 51 sessions, 51 sessions out of the full battery. I did four sessions in a row on blue and cyan, two of each, bam, bam. Then I went up to uh, three sessions of cyan, five sessions of cyan, five sessions of green, two more sessions of green. Mind you, this is throughout a entire week. I kept notes of this, please be proud. <laughs> We then jumped into the purple. I did a couple modes of that because that is, like I said, one of the hottest ones. Back to green. You know, I did not do red. 
red did not happen. I think I did red once when I was testing out the device and it was just way too hot. But other than that, I went all over the modes and I got a total of 51 sessions out of this device. And honestly, for me, that was just, that was mind blowing to have a device that not only gave you 51 sessions out of a full battery, which that's crazy enough. I mean, you hardly get that unless you have like a Puffco device. Um, but to have it go through all the different temperatures, I mean, that's a wide range. You're heating it up and down. So yeah, very happy. And I was very pleased with that scientific analysis that I did. Yes, thank you. Hold your applause. I'm a scientist now. <laughs> Next, <laughs> I got some new atomizers because when I was doing this experiment, I got a little, little too fucked up. And... Um, I did not clean it properly. So you are recommended to swab out your atomizer every after every sesh. I mean, honestly, in all reality, I load the bowls kind of heavy um, to where there's still some golden honey in there and it's not, you know, it's not brown, it's not totally used up and there's still lots of sashes left. So on this device, if I'm doing the cyan and green, which is not the super, super hot one where you will do your entire sesh in one puff or one sesh <laughs> um, on the cyan and the green setting, I can get honestly probably about two or three heat cycles out of it and then I'll swab it out. So I have changed this. I am now taking great care of the atomizer. I have it fully loaded, uh, ready to go, but you can see how pretty and how clean this is. It is gorgeous. I love the heat up function. I get a really nice even melt. Um, oh, I was gonna show you, I saved my other atomizer. So I did not do a good job at cleaning this out. I went live a lot on this. I got two stone. I forgot to swab it out. So not even gonna lie. Let me get a close up there for you. It's 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 pretty black. Um, the sides on this atomizer stayed clean a hundred percent, but the bottom quartz it did get very charred. But that was my own fault. Like I said, hundred percent honesty. I did not swab this out after every sesh that is recommended. Um, so just be mindful, you know, you know, if you can do another heat cycle or not, just keep an eye on it, but you are recommended to swap it out after each, each heat cycle. But if you overfill it like me, you tend to get two or three cycles out of it. Just don't do what I did. And I did like 15 to 20 and then I'd be like, oh shit, I just keep adding stuff to it and not swapping it out. You got to swap it out. You can't just keep adding to it. Okay. Don't be a lazy stoner. <laughs> All right. So I literally saved that just to show you it's been shown. I am going to do another experiment with this. I have not tried actually cleaning one of these. I don't even know if you can or what that's going to be in a follow-up video, but I am going to next try soaking this in, you know, some good 99% ISO just to see what happens. See if I can actually bring this back to life or if it is just chazzed. I mean, if it is, it is. These are actually very affordable coils. I will leave that price right here. Bing! They are very affordable and great atomizers. Sorry, I keep calling them coils. I am an ex-vapor. You guys know this. Terminology, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and load this on, shall we? Now, the one thing I do have to say, you do get two Terp Pearls in your startup kit with this. Um, I've only been putting one in there because I feel like it does keep my device cleaner longer. If I do put the two pearls in there, with this cap because it does kind of sit low in the bowl. It does sit in your bowl a little bit, you know, to get that wax spinning really good. It does get messy. I will get a little bit of splash back up top here and along the sides. That doesn't bother you, whatever you do, you boo. Um, I chatted for so long it turned off. It has an auto heat auto shut off function, which is great for times like this when you are just messing around and you're talking too long and you're just wasting your battery for no reason because it has the nice ambiance lights so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and let's just dive in oh she's ready
What I found that I honestly love to do is just put a little stop on the cap there, lets that smoke build up, it's perf. off so I can show you. <coughs> Hopefully I don't spill anything. Um, but it is still super, super clean. Oh my god, look how clean that is. But there is still some, uh, it's really hard to see, there is still some golden juice up in there, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna reheat this and go again. Some people might say you should just wipe it out and, you know, drop something fresh in there but I always load too big so I'm gonna reheat and go again but don't let it just burn to it that's what I did before is I let it just burn to it that 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 got me okay <laughs> so the rest of this is gonna be real short and sweet a few more things that I honestly love about this because they're I can't think of anything I don't love to be 100% honest um I have a few hopes I hope they come out with some interchangeable tops and bottoms and or carb caps that would be so awesome I want different colors I love this thing. Um, I like how this pops on and off. It You do got to be careful, but it does pop on and off easily. So if they come out with different color toppers, that would just be, that would be fabulous in my opinion. And I would love to see that. <laughs> Other thing I love, I absolutely adore that you can fully pivot this joint. So your atomizer is always facing upright and you're not getting as big of a mess as you could be getting. There is a lot of, uh, you know, e-rigs and just devices in general that you can't just be laying back on your couch, tilting back, puffing on. This device you can. You can keep your atomizer, atomizer at the recommended level and just be laying back, chilling, like I'm about to do right now and this is at the perfect angle <laughs> another thing that I love is your battery indicator light stays on the whole time your device is on until this actually auto shuts off your battery light is on there. So when you're passing this around, doing a sesh or whatever, you know what you're at. And it's very accurate, okay? When unless you're doing like 50 dabs a day, this is this is gonna last you probably like a week on a charge. All right, my beautiful friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little update video about the wonderful well, at least I think wonderful, um, Pulse R new e-rig device. This is the APX e-rig. Once again, I, I adore this device. I think it's wonderful. Check it out. It's very affordable, to be honest. Uh, and I also have a coupon code for a little discount. So if you'd like to see that, it might be down here. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.